Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to interact with cross-chain assets on Moonbeam. As you may know, cross-chain assets on Moonbeam are called XC20s, and XC20s are assets that can be transferred to other parachains and the relay chain via XCM. They also conform to the ERC20 interface, which means that dApps can interact with them just like regular ERC20s without making any changes. This is incredibly powerful because it means that assets like DOT can be harnessed in DeFi, utilized in liquid staking, and much more. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonbeam. And if this is your first time accessing the DAP, you may be prompted by your wallets to connect to the DAP at this time. For the demo, I'm going to be sending some DOT from the Polkadot relay chain to Moonbeam, where it becomes known as XC DOT, and then we'll send it back to the Polkadot relay chain. So to get started, go ahead and select the cross chain drop down on the left, and then click on Parachain Bridges. Press Connect Wallet to get started. Since we'll be making a cross chain transfer from Polkadot to Moonbeam, we'll need to connect both an EVM and a Substrate wallet. The Moonbeam DAP supports a wide variety of wallets, so you have the flexibility to choose your preferred options. First thing you'll need to do is select a network. In this case, Moonbeam is already selected, but if you need to change networks here, all you need to do is click on the respective network. Then click on your desired wallet, select the account that you'd like to connect to the DAP, press Next, press Connect. Next, we'll choose the token that we'd like to transfer. I'll go ahead and search for DOT, and I'll click on it. We're now going to have to connect the account that holds our DOT to the Moonbeam DAP. Go ahead and press Connect Wallet, and choose the account that holds your DOT tokens. In this case, I'll choose the Polkadot.js extension. And if you have multiple accounts to choose from, you can select from them in the following dropdown. The Moonbeam DAP will show you the balance of the selected account here. Then select the destination chain, which is Moonbeam in this example, and the recipient will be auto-populated as the connected account from your EVM wallet. If you need to change the recipient account, go up to your EVM wallet and change the account that's connected. Press connect, and you'll see the recipient address changed below. Next, enter the amount that you'd like to transfer. The DAP has convenient min and max buttons that can auto-populate the amount field while appropriately accounting for all fees. Note that the minimum amount is sufficient to pay for all fees, but it means that you won't receive any funds on the destination chain. So in this case, let's send the max amount. I'll go ahead and press max. Be sure to review the amount of DOT that you're sending, as well as an estimate of the amount received. You can also review the network and the cross-chain fees on the right-hand side. Once everything looks good, go ahead and press send. And we'll sign the transaction. The Moonbeam DAP will keep track of the cross-chain transfer and will let you know when the transfer is finalized. To see more details about the cross-chain transfer, you can click on View on Explorer in the lower left-hand corner. Press Continue to External Site and you can see more details about the cross-chain transfer in Pocaholic. Heading back to the DAP, we see that the status has changed to complete. You'll also see some helpful stats here, like time to finalization, overall cost, and amount transferred. You can go ahead and click on the plus icon here in order to add the token to your MetaMask. Go ahead and press Add Token, and you can go ahead and open up your wallet and see that XC Dot is listed there. Now, let's send the XC Dot for Moonbeam back to the Polkadot relay chain. I'll go ahead and press Bridge again. Choose the token as dot in this case. Then we'll press the switch directions button. Ensure that the sending account is correct on Moonbeam, and you can double check the balance of the sending account here. Select the destination network. In this case, that's the Polkadot relay chain, and verify the recipient address. If you need to change the recipient address, you can just click on the dropdown and select a different account. Next, enter the amount to send, in this case, we'll choose the max amount, so I'll go ahead and press max. Verify the send amount and the estimated receive amount on the destination chain. You can also review the network fee and the cross-chain fee. Once everything looks good, go ahead and press send, and confirm the transaction in your EVM wallet. The Moonbeam DAP will keep track of the cross-chain transfer and will let you know when the transfer is finalized. And we can review the stats of the cross-chain transfer that we just completed. And that's it. For more information about cross-chain assets on Moonbeam, be sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.